Today is going to be a Supremes Sunday. I'm going to do the first number one singles by the Supremes that came out in 1964 in a five month period. I was four years old. Uh, between June and October. Yeah, they had three number ones. They were almost as big as the Beatles in 64 and all the way through the 60s. You think I'm kidding? Check out the charts. Check out all the, the, the information on them. I mean, they had 12 number one singles between 64 and 70. It's crazy. And boy, these ladies are super talented. They, have, they are still my favorite vocal group of all time. They weren't just the biggest female vocal group of the 1960s um, or the biggest Motown act of all time, but they are still the biggest vocal group of all time. That's incredible, and they are still my favorite vocal group. Uh, the Ronettes and the Shirelles are uh, second place, probably somewhere in there, but it's uh, Diana Ross and Florence Ballard and Mary Wilson uh, of the Supremes, who are my favorite. And of course, their number one singles were written uh, by the team of um, Lamont Dozier and Eddie and Brian Holland for Motown. And uh, boy, are they amazing. So the three that I'm going to do today, the first three that were their number ones in 64, in order, are Where Did Our Love Go? Baby Baby, and Come See About Me. So this is going to be, obviously, Where Did Our Love Go? Um, they, I was, yeah, I was only four years old when they came out in 64, but, of course, they were still all over the airways when I was eight, nine years old. My mom was bouncing around the house to the Supremes. I was listening to them. I loved them. I couldn't take my eyes off of Diana Ross, even as a nine-year-old boy, whenever she was on TV. Goodness gracious, I've been in love with her for, what, 50-plus years. So uh, let's go with this. Uh, I think this was late 64. Where did our love go? And one thing I want to mention, one of the things that made the thing, the lyrics on the songs are not what made, not what made the Supremes great. They were simple lyrics. They were about love. But what made them great were these ladies' voices and the musicality, the instrumentation. It is amazingly done. I mean, they did a fantastic job at Motown. And you just want to jump around in your seat or dance. So let's watch them. The, the quality on the video may not be great, but let's go with Diana and the ladies. Ah, oh, that voice. Her face. Voice. You came into my heart. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. So tell her me with a burning love. That stings like a bee. Baby, baby. Ooh, baby. Now that I surrender. I love the rhythm. Such elegance. I love how Diana smolders. I'm going to back it up 10 seconds. This listener, ooh, she, her, her signature simmerings like that are phenomenal. Let's listen to that again. Baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Saxophone coming in. Diana is so chariz charismatic. Oh, 
Those eyes. Goodness gracious. I mean, boy, they just went right up on Diana's face, didn't they? I just love her eyes. I'm just going to keep them up there with her eyes. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I just love the background ladies um, so much. And not just in harmonies, but when they're by themselves. Well, baby, baby. I mean, when they're singing it, it sounds fantastic. But Diana's voice and her charisma on stage, I mean, she's just such a lovely spirit. So well done. And the emotion in her voice, I mean, seriously, when I think about emotional voices, hers is one of the top. It just comes pouring out of her soul, out of her pores when she's singing. And the construction of this music uh, musically with the sax, with the guitars, and the drum work, and tambourines. It's just, it's got a nice beat to it. It has that, it has a lovely love beat to it, and a happy beat to it, which most of their music had, even if it was a little bit sad. But it's just almost always, for me, primarily about Diana's voice. And of course, if there's a video, it's about looking at her as well. Because you feel not just the, her beauty, but you feel the emotions coming out and even the happiness coming out in her face. Just love that. Uh, she's just simply wonderful. They are all wonderful. And uh, so let's jump into uh, the next song, which is actually Baby Baby, <laughs> which was the chorus on this. Okay, let's do that. Y'all let me know what you think. Catch you soon. Bye. <laughs> 